Hello students, let us begin the discussion of AI PMT 2014 physics paper. For the discussion, we have selected code P and in this code P, the physics coverage is in the beginning part, the first 45 questions are that of physics. Let us begin with the question 1 now. It reads that if force F, velocity V and time T are taken as fundamental units, then the dimensions of mass are obviously this is a question of units of measurement and that to dimensional analysis. Now if I go by the basic law instead of going by deep dimensional analysis, go by the basic equation F is equal to mass into acceleration and acceleration also is further divided into V by T. Now if they are demanding the dimensions of mass, then you see for the sake of writing down the dimensions of mass, I may do the cross multiplication and write it like this. So for the sake of dimensional part, I have to write F as F because they have been treated as fundamental units. Velocity will go in the numerator. So this will be V F V minus 1 and T is already in the numerator. So the total dimensional formula for mass in these fundamental units comes out to be F V minus 1 and T. Now if you search in the options, you find that the fourth option is the correct option for this particular question 1. Now let us discuss uh, question number 2. Now in this uh, question 2 as it reads, a projectile is fired from the surface of the earth with a velocity of 5 meter per second and angle theta with the horizontal. Another projectile fired from another planet with a velocity of 3 meter per second at the same angle follows a trajectory which is identical with the trajectory of the projectile fired from the earth. You see both the projectiles have same trajectory. Now the value of the acceleration due to gravity on the planet is you have to find the value in meter per second square and it has been given that the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth that is 9.8 meter per second square. For the acceleration on the other planet, the options given to you are as follows. Now see in this question as they have said that the trajectory is same, that means the horizontal range must have been same, that means the maximum height must have been same, you understand. So you balance any of the things, maybe maximum height or maybe uh, horizontal range. So if you see the expression for maximum height, it is as you know u square sin square theta upon 2g. Now you see theta has been given to be same in both the cases and if they have the same maximum height that means this acceleration due to gravity is directly proportional to u square. So on the new planet your answer will be say if I am calling it g dash then this will be the value here and whatever is the speed ratio the square of that should be multiplied to this and that will give you the value for the acceleration due to gravity on the other planet. If you do the calculation here, if uh, I write it here, this is 3.5 meter per second square. This is the value you will be calculating. Now for that matter, the correct option for this question number 2 will be 3.5, that is first option as it has been shown here. You understand? Now let us discuss the next question, that is question number 3. Now in uh, question number 3 as it reads, you have a particle that is moving such that its position coordinates x and y are at time t equals to 0, it is 2 meter and 3 meter, they are the values of x and y. Then at time t is equal to 2 second, they have the coordinate 6 meter and 7 meter and at time t is equal to 5 second, they have the coordinates 13 meter and 14 meter. Now you are supposed to find out the average velocity vector. You see average velocity is to be found, not average speed, average velocity vector that is to be found from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 5 second. Now see in this velocity part, all you have to be worried is the final coordinates and initial coordinates. The data which has been given to you for t is equal to 2 second that is irrelevant here. So for average velocity, all you have to do, you have to see the final coordinates minus initial coordinates. If you see on the x part, it is 13 meter minus 2 meter, that is 11 meter. And if you see the y coordinates, it is 14 meter minus 3 meter, that is again 11 meter. So 
11 meter on I side, 11 meter on J side to be divided by 5 second because you have to calculate the average velocity. So, for that matter, the most appropriate option which will be coming to you that will be the fourth option and that is the answer to question number 3. Now, let us discuss the next question that is question number 4. Now, in this uh, question 4 as it reads, you have a system consisting of three masses M1, M2 and M3. They have been given to you be of same value. They have been connected by a string passing over a pulley P. The diagram also has been given to you in the question. Pulley P is there, mass M1 is hanging and it is connected to the strings. The mass M1 hangs freely and M2 and M3 are on a rough horizontal table. This table has been given to you, the rough table and the coefficient of friction has been given to be equal to mu as you can see. Now, the pulley is frictionless and of negligible mass that is ideal case. You have to find out the downward acceleration of mass m1. Now, you see by convention this particular question should be solved with the help of some free body diagrams and so on. But for the sake of quick solutions, you can directly go by the idea that acceleration is net force upon total mass. If you see the net force which is total acting on this system, this is the weight minus the force of friction. So, if I try to write down the acceleration, so I will say net force that is m1g minus the force of friction. Here the force of friction is mg mu, here also the force of friction will be mg mu. So, total force of friction is 2 mg mu. So, I can write 2 mg mu. This is the net force acting on the entire system divided by the total mass of the system. Total mass is 3m. Since m1 also has the same mass, so I can write it like this. Now, this is the expression for the acceleration you have. And for that matter, you see the most appropriate answer comes out to be option number 3. So, that is the answer to question number 4. Now, let us discuss the next question that is question 5. Now, in the uh, next question that is question 5, as it reads, the force F acting on a particle of mass M is indicated by the force time graph shown below. You have been given the force time graph in the question. The change in momentum of the particle over the time interval from 0 to 8 second has been demanded. You see, force has been plotted on the vertical axis and time has been plotted on the horizontal axis. Remember that change in momentum is nothing but all you have to do is to calculate the area under this graph and since force is a vector quantity, so area also will be treated as positive and negative. I mean to say the lower portion will be treated as negative area and the upper portion will be treated as positive area. Now, here if you see you have a triangle, so base is 2 and perpendicular is 6, the area is half into base into perpendicular, so this will come out to be plus 6. I am writing here plus 6, this is the area value of the upper part and if you see the lower part, so this is a kind of rectangle, the one side is 3, another side is 2 second, 3 to the 6, so this is minus 6 because it is on the lower side. Now, you see these two areas, they will be cancelling each other. So, only leftover area with me is this one and that two positive one, base is 4 and the height is 3, 4, 3 are 12, so net change in momentum that is coming to you that is 12, 12 newtons second. So, the most appropriate answer for this question will be third option that is 12 newton second. So, that was the answer to question number 5. Now, let us discuss the next question that is question number 6.